What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, today we are going to get level 30 on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and level 30 is the highest you can get right now that I know of. I don't know what happens after you hit level 30. But as you see, we have level 3 in all these, uh, I guess, skills or whatever the challenges are. And the last one is this Dragon Challenge. In the Dragon Challenge, to put 10 Dragon Pokemon, 10 Dragon Evolution cards into play today, we will achieve that. So, let's go to Versus, and let's see what happens. We will be playing Flygon, of course, for the uh, challenge. Let me see where is Flygon at. So, let's give it a go. And let's see, can we reach level 30? If we don't get hit level 30 after this, I'll be highly upset. Now, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. All we have to do is put down 10 Dragon Pokemon. We could play something like with 10 Dragon Poke, like just like a bunch of Evolution cards. But, let's have some fun. Let's play Flygon. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get that level 30. I'm excited to finally hit level 30. I've been waiting forever. And I'm not sure what happens when you hit level 30, but we'll find out together. Uh, but we're looking for our opponent right now. I know. Everybody's scared of Flygon. Do the Sand Slammer. We got Dustnor. We got some Drachis. We got Shaybase, of course. It's going to be Shaman Flygon. You're going to use Sky Return. Send him to Flygon. Do 10 damage everywhere. We might need two games to do this. We do have the advantage over Santiago. Perez uh, playing an all lightning deck, and let's see, do we go first or not? Hopefully we do. And he's calling the coin flip, call tails, and no, we lost the coin flip. He called heads, he knew that heads was the correct call. It ultimate opponent's turn, let's see what happens, what are they playing? All right, we get a, oh no, this hand's really bad. All right, we're going to start with Duskull. <clears throat> I'm fine with Duskull getting knocked out, so whatever. If he gets knocked out, then I don't care. At least we can get one evolution card into play. We'll put down a Flygon, and let's see. Or not a Flygon, a Tropinch. And let's see what happens. There's an Ampharos and a Manetric EX. Alrighty. Uh, so straight Lightning deck. We'll see a Lightning going out to the Ampharos. It could use Thunder Rod the next turn. And uh, we'll probably just see a pass on to our turn. What do we top deck? A VS Seeker. Alright, well, we're in our turn. We're going places. We are going places. Let's see. The Ampharos luckily can't knock us out. It needs four energies to use Sparkling Tails. I'm not really concerned about that. But we can evolve next turn, getting one of the ten into play. I think I just kicked it up, oh, kicked over my headphones. All right, we see a Lightning Energy going to the active. Hold on, hold on there, kids. All right, so Thunder Rod gonna look at the top four cards of a deck and attach as many Lightning Energies. Uh, okay, there's one. So on our turn, what do we get? Give us some good. Uh, Sacred Ash. Alright, we'll put down Bob Rava. So that is one. We will end our turn. Let's see what happens on to our opponent's next turn. Does he get a Lightning Energy to start using Thunder Rod or Sparkling Rod? Sparkling Tail. Why? I said Thunder Rod and Sparkling Tail. We see a Tierno going to draw those three cards. The first supporter of the game coming on down. And does he get the Lightning Energy? There's a Manetra Gex coming down. There's a Professor Letter. He will get a Lightning Energy. Can we top deck anything or not? That's the big question. Two Lightning Energy go into his hand. And there's the energy to the active. Sparkling Tail 100 is not affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Can we top deck anything? Come on, Pokemon. Let's start the party. Come on, give us some good. And an uh, end. There we go. So put down a Skyfield. We will play an end. Woo! We got saved there. All right, so end. Going to put both of us. He's going to get five. We're going to get six. All righty. We get a Drachi, a Floatstone. So put down Drachi. Put down a Floatstone. We will just retreat into the Jirachi and we will sadly just pass but hopefully we can top deck a uh, Shebe. let's see we can use Bridget next turn we can search for one Shaman or three Pokemon hopefully we just top deck like an Ultra Ball not an Ultra Ball alright Ultra Ball might be fine we can Ultra Ball discard the course and a DCE there's a Electa Buzz coming down we see a Love Ball so my opponent's going to put down more Pokemon on their bench so that's good uh, we can maybe use course the following turn there's a Blitzel coming down Alright, I'm not sure what we're playing against, but seems interesting. A Blitzel comes down. And there's a Rough Seas coming on down. Oh no, Rough Seas. Going to heal 10 damage from everywhere every time we... Oh man, Flygon versus Rough Seas. This is going to be rough. We see a Tierno coming to their hand. I wonder how many Rough Seas they play. It's a big question. Tierno for three. Okie dokie. Hopefully, like I said, oh, and Magnite come down. My opponent has a full bench. Alrighty. And an Evo Soda. Uh, getting out Mega Aferos. Yep, alright, so that will end his turn. And on to our turn, let's see what can we draw into. Give us something good. A Bridget, okay, another Brigetti, Spaghetti. We will Bridget grabbing a Tropinch, Tropinch, and I guess a Duskull. Alright, 
So those guys will come on out and we'll just end our turn. And our opponent next turn can use Excavolt, do 120. You may do 50 more damage if you do the, the this Pokemon. Let's see if you do 50 more damage and leave your opponent's Act Pokemon paralyzed. Great. Great. If you do, the Pokemon does 30 damage to itself, but it has the rough seas. But the bad thing is, it can paralyze our Flygons every single turn. Oh my goodness. I'm also going to the active, so Excavolt could do 140. A Tierno drawing three more cards. Love ball. And I think like this Ampharos just knocks us out one hit now. See an Electabuzz coming on down. We might have to Lysander somebody up and hope it just gets stuck in the active spot. We see a, a Flash Energy going on to the Manetric EX. Must be going on Manetric EX as well. And we'll see an Excavolt doing 140. Alrighty, so good old Drachi gets knocked out. We're gonna promote Flygon. I mean, Trap Edges. Hopefully, we can draw into a Flygon. Hopefully, draw into a Skyfield. We'll see what we top deck. Hey, okay, there's a Jirachi. We'll put it down. And I, we won't use Stellar Guidance. Like, we might grab it. Yeah, there's nothing really we need to get. So, we'll press done. And we're gonna colors get nine cards. We're looking for a Shaman and a Flygon. Alright, well. Hmm. Well. We can Ultra Ball, discard Duskull, and in. Or maybe the Pokemon Center would have been better. Um, let's grab a Flygon. Okay. And let's see. Okay, how much HP does Flygon have? 140. So we'll put a Flygon in the active. We will Rare Candy into Flygon. Alright, so we got three so far. We'll Shebe draw in three. Okay, yep. Let's see, we'll get off those three. Alright, we get a Float Stone. We're just going to retreat into the Trop Inch and just pass. Yep, that seems fine. Now when he knocks us out, we can send a Flygon and we'll see what happens from there. We could play an end, putting him down to three. We have a lot of different stuff we can do. Evo Soda, let's see that decides to get out. We need to hit another Skyfield to bump that Rough Seas. That's what we need to do really bad or we in, we're, we're going to be in trouble. Like, there's no way around it. Alright, so we see a, uh, what is that, a Dave Striker coming on down. Damage from the attacks every lightning Pokemon isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, I'm kind of concerned. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let's see. We'll send a Flygon. Alright. Okay, 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 cool. I was scared that, like, damage from the attacks of your lightning Pokemon isn't affected. Okay, any effects on these Pokemon. Okay. So we do 10 damage everywhere on the Arter, and let's see what we top deck. A DC. So we can put those on Shaman. We can Floatstone the uh, Flygon. We could play Shaman, draw some cards, yes. Question is, do we course? Oh, we could Douse Machine, yeah, we'll Douse Machine for sure. Getting out the Skyfield, there we go. So we can get the Skyfield, bumping that Rough Seas, which is great. Alright, so there's the Skyfield. So we're putting that down, getting rid of the Rough Seas, which is pretty, that's pretty uh, good. And then we'll VS Seeker, I think we'll just go for a course. Uh, we could play it in, disrupt my opponent down to three, but I don't think it's going to be that helpful. So we're going to course. I'm going to put us at 10 cards. Let's see, what can we draw into? Oh, okay, I was looking for a Staker Dash. Well, we can Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball, and Ultra Ball, and we can get out of Dusk Noor this turn. Um, we don't have any more Flygons in the, or Trap Pitches in the deck, so we'll grab a Dusk Noor. We will Rare Candy into Dusk Noor. Okay. We can Floatstone the Shaman that we have Floatstone to, and then we'll put down Drachi. Play the Shaman, draw in three cards. We're looking for a Sacred Ash. Let's see, can we get the Sacred Ash? Okay, so we got the Sacred Ash. That's good. I probably should have held on to it. Um, kind of played it early. Don't know why I played it so soon. That was definitely a misplay. Uh, but we'll grab these guys. And we will just... Yeah, we'll just retreat and we will Sky Return. Let's see, how much damage on the board? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60... 6, uh, 79, 10. We'll have 100 damage online total. But we'll Sky Return. We'll send him one of the Flygons. It will get knocked out. But maybe we can knock out this uh, this Mega Ampharos next turn. We'll do 10 damage everywhere. Okay. I don't think we're going to hit the uh, the 10 Dragon Challenge this turn. Alright, so we did 50, 20, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, next turn we can knock out this Mega Ampharos, which is pretty cool. We see a, uh, what is that, Electric like Fire come down. Yep, Electrifier coming on down. We see a Manetric EX coming down as well, which is great. That means Dustnor does more damage. Electabuzz comes down as well, which means Dustnor does more damage. Or Flygon does more damage. 
All right, cool. So our opponent's kind of just helping us out some by doing this. And we see an Excavolt. Um, he's just going to knock us out regardless. So 190. Okay, so he does 190, doing 30 damage to himself. Does that knock us out? 120, 130, 140? Yeah, that knocks us out regardless. I'm not sure why he did that. But we'll set the flag on. It'll do 10 damage everywhere. All right, next turn we can knock out this Mega Ampharos. The question is, can we knock out this Minetric X and this Mega, Mega, uh, this Mega Ampharos next turn? Or can we win the game next turn? Let's see. Alright. So we are going to put a Floodstone on Dusnor. Let's see. We're going to Sinister Hand. And we're going to leave this uh, Mega Ampharos at 40 HP left. So give me about like 10 minutes to move all the damage around. Alright. There should be plenty of damage. How much is uh, 220? So it needs to be a 180. Alright. And there's a victory screen. My opponent can see the game. We're going to leave it at 180. I'm not sure how much damage we had on the board, but we could have knocked out the Mega Ampharos and maybe knock out this Minetric EX. I'm not sure if we had enough, but we would have took out his only attacker that could really hurt. Well, he had a Lightning Energy. He could have knocked out Minetric EX, but we'll see. We'll just keep on going. Keep the party going. We'll play another game of Flying On, and we'll see what happens. This is usually when I cut the video, and we'll start a new one, but we're going to continue going. Hey, there's a Versus Reward as well. Getting a, a treasure chest. Okay, fantastic. I think I got like a billion of those. I think I do. I had somebody open a bunch for me, uh, but I think I still have a bunch left. I think we only got like four evolutions that turn. We're playing against Melt Man, playing a Water Dark Colors. All right. This might be an Evil Tall Saiso deck. We'll call it. It's like always. No, we lost the coin flip. All right, let's see what happens. They're going to go first, obviously. Like, why would you not choose to go first? All right, let's see what happens. All right, so we get a Jirachi. I'm actually going to start with that. And then we'll start putting the Trap Inch down. Brigetti for Spaghetti for three more, uh, for two Trap Inches and a Fly, uh, and for a uh, Dust Skull. Put down the Trap Inch. And there is a good old Quake and Punch Size of Toad. That's what I like to see. Make things hard for me. All right. So there's a Sableye coming down. Now, if he attaches energy to Sableye this turn, we could DC and Stardust the Sableye, or this, the Toad, if he decides to attack with it this turn. We see a Battle Compressor. Hopefully, he does not play Archeops. If he plays Archeops, I might just scoop. Um, yeah, I'll probably just scoop. We'll see what Battle Compressor does. Uh, gonna discard up to three cards from his deck, and we'll see, does he discard an Archeops and a Maxis? And if he does, we're gonna be in trouble. Like, there's nothing else to say, and like, that's gonna be bad news for us. But we'll see. I'm just waiting on this Battle Compressor to see what it discards. But our turn, we got to bridge it. Okay, luckily that is not, that is not uh, Maxi's and or Glade or Archeops in the discard pile. There's a Hex Maniac. I don't care about that. And a pass to our turn. All right. So we're going to Floatstone this Trop Inch. We're going to bridge it for two Trop Inches and a Duskull. One, two, three. Yep, we'll grab those three guys. And... We will just pass. Now, he could knock us out next turn. Quake and Punch could do 30. Then when the muscle man, uh, 50. Laser, 60. Which could knock us out. There's a DC going to the active. Does he have a laser, Verbank, muscle band? Or a laser, Verbank? That's all he really needs. He doesn't even need the Verbank. Um, if he doesn't have the Verbank, he could muscle band, uh, laser. But there's a Quake and Punch just doing 30 damage. All right. And on our turn, we will, uh, put a close, uh, DC the active. Put down Vob Rava. Put down Bob Brava, and we're going to course. I really don't want to end him because his hand is really bad. So we'll course for four. Okay, we get a rare candy Flygon, but we can't because we've been Quake and Punch. So we're going to do Stardust to discard that DCE. There we go. All right, and now Drachi cannot be hurt next turn by Toad. There we go, Drachi coming to clutch right now. That's what I'm talking about, bud. And then Evil Talk coming on down. And um. Let's see what he does this turn. Uh, Dark Energy going to the bench Evital. Enhanced Hammer discarding that DC off this guy. Okay, and a pass on to Arts Hammer, but luckily we can Floatstone the active. We can Douse Machine uh, discarding the N and Duskull. Yeah, I'm going to discard these two. I'm going to save the Rare Candy for later, and we will grab a Course. We will then put down the Flygon, and we'll Course for six. We're looking for a Shaman. And a DCE. Let's see if we get off the course. Alright, so we can Ultra Ball. Discard an Ultra Ball and a Jirachi. That seems fine. Maybe the Bridget would be fine discarding as well. We'll grab a Flygon, I guess. Yep, we'll grab a Flygon. I was looking for a Dusclops, but 
I'd rather get the dragon evolution stuff into play. We'll put a flag on to the actus or put a flag on and we'll shabe. Can we hit a DC or not? That's the big question. Shame coming on down. Yes, we'll draw to have six cards in our hand. Alrighty, we get double DC, so put a DC down, we will retreat to the Shaman, and we will Sky Return, doing 30 damage in the 10 everywhere with the Flygon. So we're good to go so far. Alrighty, so we're making progress. 10, 10, 10. We got 1, 2, 3 evolutions to play this turn, so we might need one more game. If we get a, um, I think I said earlier I was looking for a Dusk, a dusk Cobb, but I'm looking for Bra Bra Brava. Don't know if I messed that up or not. <laughs> But I'm looking for a Vod Brava to put onto the flag, onto the trap inch. But we'll see what happens this turn. Our opponent is in a bad spot now, uh, for sure. But that's good for me. I like being in good positions. Hasn't played a supported card, really. Just discarded um, a Sycamore with the Battle Compressor. No Verse Seeker. Can Flygon go 2-0 uh, with this Dragon Challenge or not? That's the big question. We'll see what happens. We're waiting on our opponent. Um, but... Hopefully you enjoyed this video, seeing Flygon, taking some names. If we get a rare candy Dustnor next turn, we pretty much just like win it. I don't know what my opponent can really do uh, for sure. But we're waiting to see what Meltman does right now. He is taking a second. Maybe he doesn't know what to do with his hand. Maybe it's really bad. And he just passes. All right, so 10 damage everywhere from Flygon from Sam Slimer. And on our turn, we top deck a Jirachi. So we're going to put down a Skyfield. We will uh, put down the Jirachi. We're looking for a course. I think there's another one in the deck. Yes. Come on now, Mr. Course. All right, there we go. Uh, we will put down a Shaman. I don't think we draw anything. Yeah, our hand's pretty full. Put a DCE down, and we will course. We're looking for a rare candy, Dustnor. If that happens, we'll be pretty much good to go. All right, so the rare candy, Dustnor, does come on down. And we can start manipulate damage. I don't think there's really any, any need to right now. That's just going to waste time. My opponent might get mad and scoop the game if we start manipulating the damage. So we'll just send in Shaman. Sky return for 30. And send a flag on doing 30. Or doing 10 damage everywhere. Yep. 10. 10. And 10. Alrighty. So Toad's at 100. The Evital is at 30. And the Sable is at 30 as well. Alrighty. Let's see what this Toad does. Does he get anything this turn or not? Or my opponent scoop the game. He is pretty close to uh, just like... Just seeing the game, his hand is obviously really bad. We've had the best optimal setup for sure, which is good. Flygon making it showing. I, I love Flygon. It's so much fun. Just uh, Sand Slimer, everything. They move the damage around Dust Noir. Just take knockouts. And he said, question mark, question, 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 question. Um, I wonder why he sends those question marks. Um, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> Maybe he doesn't know what we're doing. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why he sent the question marks. But next turn, I think I'm just going to move the damage off the Toad onto these two guys. And I'm uh, fine with Toad just being the active spot. Quake Punch is not that deadly. I mean, it does block our item cards, but I'm not really worried about that. Confused as why our opponent sent the question marks, though. Melt, man. Why the questions? Uh, but I wonder if we get one more rare candy to flag on. I wish we had a Valbrava not prized. I think we play three in this deck, and we have two prized. He sends a bunch of question marks again. Alright, I'm not sure what our opponent is doing right now. Uh, maybe she's trying to trying to waste time. Oh, buddy. Why is he doing this? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Come on, Meltman. Let's be serious. Stop sending question marks. Let's go. Maybe he's questioning his deck. And there we see a victory screen. We do win. Alright, so another challenge. or not another challenge. More evolution. Alright, so the next game. I believe that we will complete the daily challenge of this dragon task. Hopefully. Let's click play, and let's start the party. Come on. And next time, if we get another win, we can win a Masharna with the Forewarn, uh, which is pretty good ability. We haven't seen it in a little while. It was pretty popular with Ninetales, Trevenant, Selgor. But there is Dan Ray, 27, playing a Lightning Psychic Colors and Water deck, and he does have the advantage already. So I'm thinking it's Toad, Bass, Manetric, um, which I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it kind of stinks that we can't use our item cards, but we do play Valbrabas to get around it, and we do have Jirachi as well. On to our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. We get the Jirachi again. We get a Trap Edge. We have kind of a weird turn one. We'll start Jirachi. We'll put down the Trap Edge, and we'll see what happens. If they do start a Toe to put down DCE, we can at least Stardust it. So let's see. There's a Shaman coming down, which is not a Toad. Uh, but I imagine he is playing a Toad deck. Unless it's something like off the charts. There's a Hoopa. Gonna grab three EX Pokemon. 
and let's see what those three EX Pokemon are. Maybe I'm wrong, and it's some kind of like, uh, I don't know. Oh, nope, there they are. Manetric, Sidestone, and Shebae coming on down. Alrighty, that's what I thought was going to be grabbed, and he did grab those cards. Manetric coming down, a Toad coming down, and a Lightning Energy to Toad. So he can double Lightning Energy to Toad and then Quake a Punch that way. So that way we can't start us. But I'm fine with that. That means less Lightning, lightning Energy for his Manetric. And he does discard. Oh, a Garboder. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Garbodor. Oh, man. Hypnotoxic Laser trying to put our Jirachi to sleep. Uh, Tells. Okay, it stays awake. Man, uh, if he gets that Garboder, I'm not sure how we can take care of that. We do need to get a turn to, like, Flygon. Uh, Flygon, uh, yeah, if he gets out of Garboder, we're just going to lose. We're probably just going to scoop the game. Trevor's coming down. Well, why why would we scoop? We just, we're just trying to get the daily challenge. Like, uh, we see a Trevor's come down as well. We don't play any Lysanders. We don't play any Toll Scrappers. There's a Rosix. So, if that Toll gets on Gar Trevish, we are in trouble. Uh, we'll bridge it. Getting out. Uh, Trop Inch, Trop Inch, and a Duskull. Yeah, so we have, like, opening good starts every time so far. Um, let's think about this. Man, we need, like, the hope his hand is, like, terrible, and he doesn't have anything. I think he has Shaman in his hand, though, for next turn. Or did he discard it? He did discard the Shaman. Okay. Um, let's just pass. And the next turn we can do is Ultra Ball, discard Sacred Ash, and whatever we have top deck, Rare Candy to Flygon, get a Shaman, and then Sky Return into the uh, Flygon, which is cool. But, it depends, does he have the turn 2 Garboder tool? If he has that, then we are in trouble. I don't know how we can beat that. They ever see Flizzle going to Trubbish. They ever see an AZ going to pick up that Shaman. Send in the Trubbish, or send in the Toad, I guess. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's the DC. Okay. Shaman drawing 5. Alrighty. Let's see, what does he have? Does he have it? The Muscle Bay going to Toad, so Quake Punch will knock us out. But does he? Oh, man, regardless, like, we're in trouble. All right, he's going to get the Garbodor down. We're going to lose. Like, there's nothing we can do. I'm just going to concede this game. Like, all right, we can't. Even, we we should have maybe grabbed a Shaman. Uh, no point in playing that out. We were just going to lose. I don't want to waste y'all's time as it is. Uh, that turn two Garbodor definitely hurt us. But we will play a uh, fourth game. We are 2-1 right now. Uh, Garbodor is just an auto loss unless I put, like, Toll Scrappers. I mean, not even Toll Scrappers can help us. We need, like, Zerosic and... Other stuff, it's just it's just not good. Like Garbodor's a bad matchup. But we're playing against Turtle Star, playing a Lightning, Water, Psychic, Dragon. Ooh, a dragon. What can the dra is he playing Flygon as well? Why do we keep losing the coin flip? I feel like we lost the coin flip like almost every game. Alright, so under our opponent's turn. I think we are like 0 for 4 on coin flips. Alright, so we get a Tuskull. Our hand's bad. We need to have to take a Bridget, and then maybe it'll be okay. Get some Flygons out, play Shaman. Yeah, we thought they could bridge it. We'll be okay. Let's see. Our opponent must have multiple attackers if he's deciding. Or press done. Yeah, they have more Pokemon to put down if they want to. I kind of hate how it says that like, your opponent has is selecting they want to, put more, want to put more Pokemon down. And they start a Hoopa. Alright, a Tynabo comes down. This must be a Ray Eels deck. Alrighty. Yep, an Ultra Ball. A shiny Ultra Ball. I need that Ultra Ball. Oh, man. I need some shiny Ultra Balls. Those are like the only rare card. Or the only golden card I don't have in rare, in gold rare candies. But I need some uh, shiny Ultra Balls. Let's see what this gets down. A sh golden, a full art Shebe. Alright, so Shebe comes down. Going to draw up to three. I wonder if he has Tynamo in his hand. Why did he not start with Tynamo? Hmm, but this is Skyfield coming down, which is great. We see a Lightning Eater going to Shaman. And a pass onto our turn. Alright, let's see what we top deck. Alrighty, so we'll put a Flowstone on the active. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll shame it for one. What can we draw into Bridget, please? Uh, DCE, either one. Okay, another shaman. So we'll shame it again. Yep. All right, we can Ultra Ball <laughs> discard a Skyfield and a VS Seeker. Grabbing another shaman? Yeah, we'll just grab another shaman. YOLO, uh, three shamans, turn one, whatever. Press done. We are shaming again. We're looking for a Bridget and a DCE. Let's see. What can we get off this uh, toad? Uh, okay, we got a DCE. We will retreat and just sky return. Yep, that's not a good turn one. But we can promote the other shaman to prevent this Duskull from being hurt next turn. Maybe being knocked out. So we'll send a shaman. 
Oh, our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens, man. No bridge at turn one. Not even in, of course. We see a Flustone going down to Hoopa. We see a, uh, a Fire Engine going to Shame and EX. We'll see a Sky Return for 30. Alright, so we're both having, like, the worst starts ever. Alright, so Shaman goes into his hand. Probably sent the Hoopa. It does have the Flowstone. Alright, on to our turn. What do we top deck? Uh, okay, we'll put this guy down. We will... Let's see. Man, I really don't want to do this. Like, I don't want a DOS Machine right now. Uh, I'll put a DC down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to DOS Machine. Discarding a Bria Seeker and a Vabrava. We'll just grab a VS Seeker because we have to grab one. No, grab an Ultra Ball. At least next turn we can start using. Um, we can at least get some trap inches out this turn. So we'll shame it, drawn up to three. Come on, Bridget. Okay, we'll Ultra Ball discard these two. We'll get down a, a trap inch. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, so trap inch making a play finally. And then we'll, of course, getting four cards. And we'll see what happens. Um, okay, we'll shame it again for two. Yep, we're looking for more trap inches. Come on down, trap inch. Don't don't be scared. Alrighty, well we will just uh sky return for another 30. Setting up this Shea Bay, of course. Uh, it's it's I don't think it can be knocked out next turn like Ray Claws. It really can't knock it out next turn. So into our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Can we draw into a flygon? We could break any the flygon, slap a flowstone on it. There's an electric coming down. He can evolve the dynamo to electric. And start using Dynamotor. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, he can. He can use Dynamotor this turn. There's a Lightning Energy to the Electric. Ooh. Okay, no, he can't. Okay, uh, Super Rod. Getting back two Lightning Energies. Shaman coming down. Drawn up to three. Can my opponent finally get anything? Let's see. Will that happen or not? Uh, we're both kind of having the worst start ever, but... And no, Victor Screen! No! No, 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 no. We were gonna do good. Oh, man. Not even a single dragon of attacker come down, but we do get. Um, we do get 10, to 10 points. Okay. So we're just still just trying to complete this, this 10 evolution challenge. Can we start? Can we complete it or not? Okay. Alright. Come on now. We're 3 for 1. Can we win a coin flip? We're playing against uh, Sir Sila. Playing an all dark deck, not sure what that could be. <sighs> Come on, let's go first. Come on, Pokemon. Don't let me down. No! <laughs> I just want to go first, please. Please let me go first. All right, but let's see. We're choosing who goes first. All into our opponent's turn. All right, all right. Come on, let's have a good turn one. Okay, we'll mulligan. All right, they mulligan as well. Hey, they're playing fighting. That's not legal. It's kind of legal, but it's not legal for, like, tournament play. All right, so we're going to set up again. He knows we're playing Flygon. It's, it's not a secret. No, no. If we had a, oh, man, if we had a Pokemon, like, any Pokemon would have been okay. Like, a Jirachi, Shaman, anything would have been okay. We had a Bridget. We could have Ultra Ball for another Trap Inch. Ah, okay. But it looks like my opponent has multiple Pokemon if they are trying to choose their attacker. Alright. Okay, so they must have multiple in their hand. We'll press done. And uh, can we start Bridget or not? Come on, Brigetti Spaghetti. Alright, there we go. So we start a Drachi. We got a Bridget. We get down three Pokemon. Alrighty, there we go. And let's see, what are we playing against? There's a new Dark Guard with the Dark Pulse and the Dark Head. We see an Acrobike. Can look at the top two cards of his deck. Discard one and put the other one into his hand. Let's see what he does. What, what does he discard? Um, he discards a Reverse Valley. I think that's what it's called. Another Acrobat comes down as well. Yeah, Reverse Valley. Discarding a Dark Energy, which is fine because he get Dark Patch with it. Muscle Man to the active. Dark Energy to the active. Does he have anything else or not? That's the big question. There's a Sycamore going to discard that hand. Drawn seven new cards. He discards Double Dark Patch. Woo! Alrighty, and on our turn, so my opponent doesn't really get anything down. We will bridge it, and with the bridge it, we will grab a Trop Inch, Trop Inch, and a Duskull. Alrighty, and then we'll just pass, like nothing else we can really do turn one. Now next turn, he can Dark Head to knock us, out, knock us out if he gets a DCE. If he gets a Dark Energy, he can knock us out as well, 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, yep, yeah, that would be a knockout. But my turn, I'm going to put down the Skyfield. Oh, he ends us though, okay. Let's see. Hopefully, we get a rare candy Flygon. We have a Bob, we had a Bob Rava, um, so we would have evolved at least once. Okay, is man, I wish we had a okay. Well, top deck rare candy, 
right now. Come on, Rare Candy. Come into play. He still has no Pokemon. We'll send up a Tropinch, and let's see. What do we get? Okay, cool. So, Rare Candy into Flygon. And the only way he can really poison us next turn if he plays a Laser and we stay asleep. And that's the only way Dark Head can knock us out next turn. I'm pretty sure um, we can Ultra Ball, discard Course, and a Juniper getting out a Vibrava to have two of those guys, which is great. And then we can play Shaman drawn four cards. Or five cards. No, four. Four, four, four. So, we'll get a Vibrava. So, turn two, we got down two evolutions. All right. We will shave a drawn four. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I had to write it first. So, let's see. Can we get a uh, muscle band? No, uh, okay. I messed that up. But we get a Vibrava. The Trap Inch, DC, and we'll pass. Now, next turn, we can evolve into Vibrava. We can maybe get, I mean, evolve into Flygon. Maybe get another Vibrava down. And, uh, yeah, we can maybe do the maybe do the daily challenge. Oh, man, I hope so. Uh, but Yavatal comes down. Reverse Valley comes down as well. Alright. And that makes sure he does 10 more damage. How much does Dark Head do? 8, 9, 10, 11. Must ban uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110. So that's not a knockout. Alright, both Pokemon take 10 damage. 10 and 10. Can we get a Floodstone or not? That's the big question. Well, there's a DCE. We'll put down a Flygon. We're going to DCE this Shaman. I know it seems crazy, but we can Sky Return to pick it up. Um... Do we sh Sycamore or do we Course? I'm just going to YOLO Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. We need a Floatstone and some other stuff. Alrighty, so we get the Floatstone. We can Ultra Ball, discard these two. And we can get a Dustnor out this turn, or do we get a another Vabrava? Let's get a Vabrava. I don't want to get down the Dustnor yet, because if I do, he'll probably just scoop the game. Uh, so get down Vabrava, Wheel Shaman, drawn up to four. Yep. All right, and let's see what can we get. All right, so we get a Pokemon Center Lady. Oh man, that would be great for this turn. We will retreat into Shaman, and we will just Sky Return for thirty. Send up the Flygon. Yeah, we'll send up the Flygon, and both Pokemon take ten damage. So ten and ten. All right. So this Starkrai is at sixty, and this Flygon, I mean this Yavital is at twenty. And on to our opponent's turn. What does he have? That's the big question. Now next turn, I am going to. Uh, Ultra Ball to Flygon, or Ultra Ball to Dusnor. Obviously, Dark Pulse is not going to knock us out doing 130 now, but both Pokemon take 10 damage. One and two. Alrighty, on to our turn. We will top deck a VS Seeker. So I'm going to DC the Shaman. Ultra Ball, discard the N and the Horse. We will get down a Dusnor. Okay, come on down, Dusnor. There we go. Uh, grab the Dusnor. We will Rare Candy into Dusnor. We get Pokemon Sin Lady, Hill 60 off this uh, Flygon as well. I know he can still knock us out next turn, but I'm just trying to heal it up. Some will Shebe drawn three. Yep. Here we get another Floatstone. That'd be great. Uh, we do get another Floatstone. All right, but who do we send up? Um, hmm. Let's see. Three, four. Yeah, let's put, let's Floatstone the active, and we'll just let him knock out the other Vibrava. No, 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 we, we don't need to do that. We're going to set up this guy. We are going to Sky Return for 30. And I got a plan. It's probably not going to work. We'll send up the, uh, the Flygon. They both take 10 damage, so 10 and 10. Now, next turn, we can knock out the Dark Guard, which is great. Um, the Evil Top, I'm not sure if we can knock out both next turn. Uh, but they'll both take 10 damage. We'll come back into our turn. Okay. Let's see what happens. We did evolve. Uh, two, three. Three, four times. We see a Dark Pulse. This will knock us out doing 130 damage. He'll go down to four prize cards. We're going to send the Flygon. And can we win this turn or not? I don't think so. Sandstorm number 10 and 10. Okay. Sona our turn. Let's see. Um, we can do Sandslammer doing maximum of 40. But then Evatol will just smack us. So I'm going to put a DC on this guy. Put down a Shaman. And we are going to VS Seeker for course. And we're looking for another Flygon to uh, to go into. That seems great. Yeah, we'll course. Let's see, what do we get off the course? Yep, I know that gets us less car cards, but it'll be okay. We need another Flygon. Alright, well. Hmm, we can Floatstone this uh, Vibrava. We can put down the Skyfield. We can put down a Drachi and Shaman. Let's see, can we get another Flygon or not? Yes. Come on down, Flygon. There we go. So put down a Flygon. Um, we're going to move some damage off this Darkrai. 
We're gonna leave him probably at the same HP. Let's see how much HP is this guy at. How much HP is Avatar at? Okay, so 100. He's at. He has 60 and he has 110. Okay, so we will uh, move the damage off to this guy. Give me one second. I hate I hate doing dark art stuff. I mean, not dark art, uh, death nor stuff. It does take a second. Uh, so he's up to. Uh, we'll do one more. There we go. Alrighty. So press done. And we will retreat into the flag, uh, to the shaman. And we'll sky return doing 30, sitting with his other flag on. Alrighty. So go, go, flag on. Both Pokemon take 10 damage. Sally is not putting down more Pokemon. That kind of stinks. Um, but. Let's see, there's 220 on the field. There's no way we can knock, we can't, we can't knock out both next turn, but, um, it'll be okay. We should be fine. Let's see, Dark Pulse would do, Dark, Dark Pulse, yeah, Dark Pulse would do 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. If he gets one more Dark Energy, he could knock us out this turn. But we can send the other Flygon, do some damage. Um, but I'm not sure what we can do after that. Did we discard a Sacred Ash? I think we already discarded a Sacred Ash. We have discarded a Sacred Ash. Okay, uh, might be a little bit difficult, but I believe in us. Um, we might be able to win this game. I wish you to put down more Pokemon. So Sand Slammer, yes, another Pokemon do damage to Dark Patch going down to this Dark Drive. All right, so he's gonna knock us out this turn. That's for sure. But at least we can start Sand Slammer to two Pokemon, which is great. That is fantastic. All right, so Muscle Man going down to the Dark Drive as well. Alrighty, and we'll probably just see a Dark Head, uh, Dark Pulse knocking us out. Yep, 140 damage. All right, so we're gonna send up this Flygon. My opponent will go down to three prize cards. Go, go, Flygon, hit everybody for 10 damage. So 10, 10, and 10. All right. We will then. I think what I'm gonna do is VS Seeker for a. Yeah, I'm gonna VS Seeker for a Pokemon Center Lady. We need this Flygon to stay alive as long as it can. So we'll grab a Center Lady. Land the Center Lady, heal the damage off the Flygon. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this, uh, this Dark Rite up to has 40 HP left. Yeah, we'll bring it to 40 HP. And then we all move this damage over to this Dark Rite. So both of them have the same amount of damage. Yeah, that seems good. And that way we knock out this Dark Rite and we can start doing damage with the uh, new Flygon. Or both Flygon. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to move this damage over to here. Let's see. This guy is at 70. This guy is at 40. So two more times. Five. Oh no, this should be fine. Maybe six and five. Yeah. So we'll press done. We'll then DC a shaman. Uh, put down shaman ex. Draw some cards. Yes. We have ten cards left. All right. So we get another dust nor. We will just retreat into shaman and we will sky return. Knocking out. Uh, this thirty one seventy. We'll send the flag on dust ten damage and dust ten damage to these two guys. Yep, so we'll go down to four prize cards. The question is, can we win or not? I'm not 100% sure. We're we'll going down to four. There's a Drachi and a Skyfield. And he's going to promote the Evital. So Evital does one, two, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 is the max he can do. 140 if he has a DCE. So that will knock us out if he does do have a, if he does have a DCE. But if he doesn't, we might be okay. Still going to be a little bit hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, huh. We need another Trap Inch. I don't think we have any more left in the deck, though. Alright, so there's a Dark Energy going to the active. We see a VS Seeker. What will this grab is my question. We're going to grab a Lysander. Probably bring up the Dusnor. That's probably his best bet. Or you go for a Shaman. Nope, going to bring up the Dusnor. Going to hit it for a knockout for sure. Now, this is going to throw a wrench into everything because now we don't have our Dusnor anymore. So he'll go down two prize cards. He's got a White Cyclone, actually, which is probably smart. We'll send a Flygon, and let's see. The both take 10 damage, and now we don't have Dusnor. Which is a little annoying, uh, but we'll see what happens. On to our turn. We get a Douse Machine. So we're going to Douse Machine. Discard Skyfield and Skyfield. Okay, and with this, we will grab a uh, Sacred Ash. Hmm. Hmm. We could grab an N, but I'm going to Sacred Ash. I'm not sure if there's a, a Supporter Guard left in our deck or not. But we'll Sacred Ash. Getting back Tropage. Um, Trop Inch, Dusk Gold, yeah, um, let's get back to these, that seems fine, yeah, we'll grab those guys, <coughs> um, we'll Jirachi, no matter what, if he has a Lysander, he can win by a Cyclone next turn, we'll search for a supporter card, we're looking for an N, wow, yes, we have an N left in the deck, 
we will DCE this guy, Bloodstone this guy, and we'll end. He'll get two cards, we'll get four, but hopefully we can get some more Dust Skulls. That would be great. Uh, we need at least two Dust Skulls. Let's see, can we get any? Nope, we don't get any. Okay, or Shaman. So we will retreat into Shebe, and we will Sky Return for 30, then 40, and then uh, 10 of that guy. Okay, so it brings it up to 120. Now, next turn, we can knock out the Evital. The question is, do we have enough damage to knock out this Dark Eye on the bench? Not 100% sure. My opponent only needs two more prize cards. Like I said, if he has a DC and a Lysander, he could win this turn regardless. Um, he could just bring up Shaman and Y Cyclone. But let's see, does he have that or not? That's the mystery. Alright, but luckily, I think we have enough to win our uh, Dragon Challenge. I know this video is kind of long. But if you stuck around, thank you for sticking around. We'll see what happens when you hit level 30. There's a DC to the active VS Seeker for a Lysander. He will win this game for sure. I mean, that was just a great, that was a great end. Like, I can't, like, that end, like, I don't think it gets any better than that. Um, he could have knocked out the Jirachi and or the Shaman. They both have 110 HP or less. But yeah, that was, I, wow, that was just a lucky top deck end. Like, three, off of three cards, well, off of four cards, he got a DC Lysander. Which is fantastic for our opponent, but we sadly do lose the game. But even though it is sad, we do hit level 30. Finally, we complete the daily challenge getting level 30. Finally. All right, so no more challenges. Yes, there it is, level 3. I would have been upset if we didn't hit level 3. But there we go. We get the dragon deck box, the last one to get. We are finished with. Woo! We are finally finished with this daily challenge. I don't know what there is to do now. Um, like I said, we're done with the challenges. I wish you would have got, like, what if you got something amazing for completing the challenge? But sadly, you don't. Like, there it is. Level 30. Everything's level 3 now. I'm finally excited to have the level 30, 3 and everything. It took me a long, long time. But there we go. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Sadly, we didn't get anything for getting level 30. I feel like they should give you something. Like, 5, 10 packs of the newest set. Because you did work so hard to get level 30. But sadly, you did not. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very exciting to see us lose. But we did get the last daily challenge complete now i don't well i guess we'll just have active challenges forever until they release level 60 or something but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a great day already